You gossiping schoolgirls got something you want to say to my face? Not the boss, just waiting for your orders. Just want to help, Jackie. That's what I thought. That was weird. I'm <laughs> standing right in front of you. Eddie and Frank are checking out the brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Johnny Powell. He didn't take to your invitation, so we put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow Good me. job, Vinny. Can't wait to see him again. Yeah, it's me. This guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge. He was living under it in a cardboard box. Yeah, I figured that much. All right, come on. He's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? <laughs> I love this Chief guy. He's too fucking funny. Secret, just let me go and I won't breathe a word. Scout's honor. Okay, cool. So, 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 so the boss was right there. Shh, the scout. People always see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. He is shitting himself. It's all jumbled and weird. People think we're nuts. All right, Johnny, what's up? Johnny Powell, you look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night? For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking seductive. Hmm. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you going to kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. You let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. <laughs> it'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. Like Jenny? I need your help, so you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. A bunch yeah. of assholes just came after my entire operation. And whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll do what I can. It's, it'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? All right. But I'm watching you. No more skipping out of the middle in the middle of the night. I'm good to go now. You can untie him now, Chief. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, he let himself go. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right. Thanks, Vin. Don't you listen to that voice in your head, Jackie? You fear the darkness like it was the devil himself. Everything it says is a lie. I like this Johnny guy, but I think that the darkness has driven him mad. Hey, um, Sarah, Sarah, right? How yeah. How you holding up? up, Jackie? I'm, I'm doing pretty good, Sarah. How you doing? I have arthritis and two bum knees. Every day is a gift. Hmm. How do you think I'm doing? You're something else, you know that. And you look like shit, you know that? I'm gonna Ooh, make damn. you some of that meatloaf you love so much. I'll have it for you in a couple of hours. Nice home-cooked meal is what you need. You're the best. Bet your ass I am. Thanks, I can sound the right yeah. there. You're gonna wanna hear this. Huh? You can see? That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie who heard it. 
I was otherwise engaged at the time. <laughs> he was busy snorting coke off a of hooker's ass. Never yep, we got it. Desk. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running their mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. Camille says she's seen some weird guy with a limp go in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Hmm. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. But it might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Yeah. What do you say, Jackie? I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about her. A friend? Yeah, okay. Does this friend on? get this hey, Jackie, did you fuck up that pool all good or what? I did. I did. Let's let's see what everyone's doing. Where's Meredith? But he's still guarding. That's ah, good. This is no good. No good at all, Jackie. Hmm? Go speak with the whores, Jackie. The whores. You two are all right. You know that. Yo, Jackie. Yeah, what's up? Hmm? Huh? You're just saying hello? Hello. There's two idiots down there. Is this one of them? You did us proud. Hiya, Jackie. Teach the pigeons a lesson with Delta? <laughs> if I had a thousand bucks for every fucking prick who calls me a weirdo. I still wouldn't have enough to cover their funeral expenses. Hmm. Um, I think that's shooting pigeons, but I don't want to risk it actually killing him. So, uh... Tell me that. Falco's pretty, pretty cool guy. Alright, well... What I'm really looking for is I'm looking for Meredith because her and I need to have a discussion. I mean, who knows what makes a guy go nuts? But you definitely know it when you see it, right? He's too absolute. You know, his father went crazy all them years ago. I might kill these Herod, two one day. Harada, Haroda, Harushieri. You know, how about the fuck you say that jeans thing? You know. You gossiping schoolgirls got something you want to say to my face? Not the boss. Just waiting for your orders. Just want to help, Jackie. That's what I thought. That was weird. Shut up already, all right? <laughs> Standing right in front of you. Fucking assholes. Hi, What's boss. up, Tony? So you What's took up? that prick Swifty out. Oh, that would have been fun to watch, let me tell you. Yeah. So you're just always gonna stay in the kitchen like this? Or you got some stains on you, bro. You you need to go to the laundromat or something. Okay, I'm done with you. Asshole. Hey, be careful out there. Thanks, Tony. Alright, where is Meredith? Meredith. Meredith. She might be upstairs. What's the story, Jackie? Meredith, hi, how are you? Listen, we need to have a discussion um, about my bedroom. You see, like, I, I appreciate you and all that you're doing, and you're awesome, and, um, and everything. And I know that you're working really hard, but, like, could you make it a point to spread my bed for me uh, at some point? Because I would really like to come home to a spread bed. That would be awesome. But, um, no, no, no rush or anything. I mean, I'm not angry. I'm just, you know, it would just be nice. That's all. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Good, good talk. The kids sure did love that I, I did. It was very delicious. Thank you, Meredith. All right, let's go, Vinny. Hey, Jack. Hmm? So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. Well, I mean, it's a whorehouse. So, uh, got a hookup over there? 
Well, uh, you mean I, me? Well, I, I mean, I'd never go to a cesspool like that. But yeah, I got okay. a friend who goes there sometimes. Uh huh. Um, you know, when it's late at night. Mm hmm. When other places are closed. Mm hmm. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure, she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you, you know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of them. Damn right. Okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? I am very ready. Take me to this shithole, Vinny. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. Jackie, Jackie, wait. What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 this envelope. Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. Oh shit! Oh shit! What is it? What oh, is shit. it? Oh shit! Oh shit! Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, it couldn't be them. Cause that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree. Why don't you tell me yeah, now, Johnny? The zoo while you're gone. Three thoughts like Jesus it. Christ! Let's go, Benny. That a boy, Jackie. What do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> These guys are very secretive, and I don't appreciate it. I remember this one time, when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop, with a couple of cones here, trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type. Asshole all the way. Hmm. He shoves me over, and takes a seat between the two of us. Jenny takes one look at him, dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw would teach him how to talk to a lady. Jenny didn't talk to me for a week. Huh. Sounds like she's unappreciative.